Having a bit of trouble there? Hmm. Table would be great right about now. What issy is what you get. Need like a whiteboard or something. Just tape it to the walls. Really? Yeah. What do I care? It's not like the place can look any worse, right? You okay? I'm fine. Watching you work is exhausting. It's a start. <laughs> Whoa, okay, sure. This is new. It's my research. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, here, come look. 1894, Grantham House is built. 1898, John and Emily Grantham murdered. And the staff. Everybody always forgets the little guy. Right, sorry, and the staff. 1902, someone dies of a heart attack. I'm not exactly sure who, I still need to do some digging. 1920, a woman dies. Seems like she fell down the stairs and it was declared an accident. Then nothing until 1944. A young couple was found dead in the house. It seemed like a murder-suicide. Oh, and their kid was in the bedroom next to them. Well. There's nothing supernatural about a lover's spat turned violent. Yeah, I'm not saying all of these have something to do with the supernatural, but you gotta admit, ever since the Grantham murders, people do keep dying here. Fair enough. Then 1967. This is, this is the worst one yet. A woman was looking after her two nieces, Karen and Abigail. Her husband and daughter were out visiting some relatives and when they came home, they found her dead. She seemed to have slipped and hit her head. She was giving Karen and Abigail a bath and they drowned. And you're still here because... Okay, if the house is haunted, if the ghost of Grantham's past made this a house of death, then someone needs to find out the truth. <sighs> okay, this house has had its fair share of people dying, but I'm still not convinced it's not just coincidence and misfortune. I don't know, I disagree. I feel like I was meant to be here. <laughs> just looking at this wall, I feel... This has to stop. Okay. Well, let's look at the possibilities. The house is evil. Staying here sends you mad. Traumatized ghosts seek revenge on those who dare stay in its house. Or it's just a hundred year old home with a really unfortunate history. Yeah, okay, I'm not ruling any of those out yet. You two are so far out of your depth. What do you mean by that? All you've got is a bunch of theories. You have no experience, no equipment, no clue. Come on, she won't even consider the possibility that it's something supernatural. Okay, I've been researching everything to do about this house and the paranormal for the last 18 months. Sure, I don't have a great deal of experience, but I'm not a fool. And Jack is a forensic photographer. She's been to more crime scenes than the most seasoned detectives. Her observation skills are second to none. Together, we make quite the team. We can theorize, analyze, and capture videos as well as anyone else. You don't have to explain yourself. I want her to understand. Look, I'm not trying to ruin your great adventure. I'm just saying that you don't have any idea what you're dealing with. Okay, so why don't you tell us? Seems like you know. I, I don't have anything to tell. I stay as far away from this place as possible, like a regular person with a reasonable amount of sense to fear what I don't know. Okay, well, what if we can help? Looking at all of this, I doubt it. Look, I vote that we just walk out the door and never look back. No, 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 I, I can't. And you signed a contract, so no one's going anywhere. <sighs> okay. Have it your way. But don't come crying to me when you realize you don't know what you're dealing with. Oh. 
feel like she knows more than what she's saying. She's doing it for the money, Case. She probably just heard one of the stories and got scared. She's frustrating as hell, though. The attitude. I kind of feel sorry for her. She's sad and lonely. She doesn't talk about friends or family, and she's not exactly skilled in the art of human interaction. <laughs> well, if you put up six-foot-high brick walls, you're not really encouraging anybody to get to know you better. Casey, you don't owe her anything else, and I don't want to talk about her, okay? What else do I need to know? Mm, this is it. Oh, there is one more. 2007, Jeremy Hobbs was found dead. Uh, seems like he was climbing up the ladder, trying to get to the first floor of the house, but he fell. He wasn't found until two weeks later. Hmm. There's no real consistency in how people kick the bucket around here, is there? Nope. And it's weird how there were long periods of time and nothing happens. Well, yeah, but first of all, I'm not exactly sure this is everything. Second, that's not exactly unheard of in haunted houses. Think about it. No people means no energy that the house can feed off of. It goes dormant. <laughs> you are dangerously close to sending like you're already convinced about this place. Okay, I'm not convinced of anything just yet, but you gotta admit, strange things do keep happening here. I just want you to be open to the idea that we may never know. Yeah, but what have you known me to quit? You're a pain in the ass, Stratton. <laughs> All right. Let's get some lunch.